But, you know, risk and reward, there's a linear correlation there. But there is risk there. You won't succeed every time. But taking the path of more risk, or as I say, getting on the balance sheet uh, with an organization, if you have that in your blood and flair and you really want to do that, it's particularly when you understand the patterns, it's not as risky as you think. In fact, it's a lot less risky than not doing that in many instances. And I think big companies are excellent training grounds. And I think the way for a true entrepreneurial person to, to tolerate and to flourish in a large company is to look at it like an MBA. But instead of paying 25000 a year, they're paying you a lot more than that. And you make really good money and you're gathering information, absorb it as a sponge, but you're there to learn. And when you're there to learn, you're not going to take some of the slights that a lot of entrepreneurs take around, some of the frustrations a lot of entrepreneurs take away from large companies. Why do I have to sit in these meetings? I don't like the way I'm always being talked to around here. Why can't I run things? That evaporates. Instead, you get how interesting. This person doesn't know how to manage people. What can I learn from this? What can I learn from this? How interesting. We're failing in our market. What can I learn from this? Why are we failing? Where, where's the role of marketing and sales? Particularly if you get in a nice rotation in a larger company. If you're, I mean, let's, you have an entrepreneur walk through the doors around here and they've said, I've been running Microsoft Exchange or Google Search or the Overture Search that is, or the Yahoo search effort or Yahoo content, that's a very interesting entrepreneur to back. 